art and character designs provided by Demon Artie. Be sure to follow her over on Twitter, at Artie Demon. Want to be first to have access to early artwork, concept sketches, exclusive art that can't be seen anywhere else? Then support Demon Artie over on her Patreon. Link in description below. Welcome everyone back to the Crimson 15 Podcast. I'm your host, Crimson Sin. Be sure to check us out over on Twitter, at C15 Podcast. Join the discussion over on Discord, link in the description below. And if you're enjoying the videos, be sure to sub, like, share, and hit that bell for notifications. Episode 13 of Thundercats Roar, uh, Mandora the Evil Chaser, which is an actual episode from the original show. And this one, more than any other, is a, almost a complete copy of that episode, except for they they make Lino, of course, in this version, he's incredibly stupid. And they make her more, they make uh, Mandora very more stocky uh she has less of a figure and she's just really mean to lino in the original she didn't like it because he accidentally it, it's funny how they almost go beat for beat the same except for they they add stupid things and then they take away other stuff she didn't trust him you know because he's kind of a dummy for letting the people the the prisoners out but lino at the time didn't know they were prisoners so but in this one the, the, the Roar version, she's just so mean and dismissive of him. And she did call him an oaf in the original, but they keep pushing that. That's like a these weird little callbacks that no kid is going to get. Only people that were hum, huge fans of the original Thundercats would get these little callbacks to the episodes. But uh, overall, this is... <laughs> can I say this is the best episode so far? Is that even... Is that a thing? This, is, this one failed the least, but still failed. You know, uh, the, if all the episodes were running uh, the hurdles, every episode hit every single one on the way down. This one almost made it over one. So, the limited, uh, what, 11, 12 minute episodes, they start off with, can you, what is the most unmanly thing you can think of? Catching butterflies. And, and for no particular reason. So, Lino and Snarf are out. Catching butterflies and making this face. Uh, <laughs> and I was thinking, well, maybe they need these butterflies for something or uh, panthro or, uh, you know, they're like, oh, these butterflies have a special thing and we're going to study them. It's going to make a, a thing to, you know, to make a medicine. No, he's just trying to catch butterflies like uh, like SpongeBob. They go jellyfishing. It, it's like that, but not funny. Uh, Snarf is, of course, a complete badass because he's like this super mega super robot and he's flying around. He just sucked up a bunch of them. And uh, Lionel's only able to catch like a old man butterfly. And Snarf turns into a, like a butterfly enclosure. This whole robot Snarf thing is, I never, when they first showed that in the first episode, I was thinking, what are they going to do with this? They haven't done anything, I don't know, unique with it. He just, he's this over super powerful being that can do all this stuff. But then he doesn't do super cool stuff, but he does butterfly in enclosures. And um, then we get the, the prison, the prison uh, thing crashes. In the original episode, it was already there, and they just happened to walk by it. This one crashes, and it's like, oh, we hear voices in there. And, of course, Lino is like, oh, what could this be? And then there's, like, a door that says, open this now. But there's mud all over it, and I bet it says something stupid afterwards. He opens it, but it says, never open this now. It's All the bad guys get out. And they added bad guys. And the original was only three bad guys. And this one is, like, five. And they all just, like, take off. And I thought, oh, okay. It was in the original one. One of them actually stopped and, like, helped Lino up, and he pickpocketed him at the time. And there's, like, this little, this little like, rock thing with, like, I don't know. And she's like, oh, that thing's handsome. So this this little thing's, like, attracted to Lino. Okay. <laughs> it's just weird. Then uh, Lino's like, yeah, we did a good thing. We saved these people. And then uh, Mandora shows up. In the original, she flies by. This actual down shot from her on a bike looking down at Lionel and Snarf is actually kind of cool. But it's like for seriously like half a millisecond. But then Lionel's like in awe of her. Like, I mean, he's like, oh, his eyes are super huge and everything. She lands her bike and it's all like epic and everything. But the animation is, it's uh, it's iffy because it kind of looks good. But then it, then, then it gets choppy again. But it's way over the top for her, her big old giant entrance. And I like Mandora's design. They kept her design, her costume pretty much one-to-one -one. it looks exactly like she did in the original except for this version she's like way more stocky uh lino can't make his eyes bigger but then he can because she's so awesome and look at her if i told you this was a dude eh, you'd, you'd probably believe it but she's like and, and in the original she had that oh no type of voice so they, they kept that but they made it even more like more manly sounding oh who could have opened this and let these prisoners out and then lino makes this face Oh, man. Um, 
it'd be great. No, not great. I wouldn't want anyone to be shown to be an idiot. But why is it only the guys are allowed to be completely stupid? And this is another callback to the original, like when she shows uh, her badge that she's an evil, an official evil chaser, and, th- and her picture's upside down. And that that was in the original too. So, and then she's like, "Oh, you let these prisoners out? I'm gonna arrest you." And then I'm thinking, "Oh, Snarf's not gonna let this happen, and Snarf's gonna fight her." But apparently, in this version, Snarf's are like intergalactic beings, and she's like, "Oh, something space penal code, blah 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 blah." Snarf units cannot, you know, because she's an official, like a police officer, so he has to stand down. So he does, and then she has a complete control over him. What, what a weird way to get rid of Snarf from helping when they shouldn't have made Snarf into this fighting robot thing to begin with. So she's going to arrest him and everything because he let out all these bad guys and he's like, oh, crap. Um, oh, uh, yeah, I guess I did do that. But I thought in the original, he honestly thought people needed help. And here he's just an idiot. Uh, one more of these little guys is trying to get out and Lionel's like, oh, I can help. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a good guy, too. So he like jumps on him and like pins him to the ground. And she's like, oh, OK, uh, he's a. Uh, like, what did he do? What's his crime? I guess he uh, he, he falsified his taxes. And Lionel's like, well, that's not such a bad idea. And then you see how she makes these super strong manly faces. And in the original, she was still very feminine. Even though she was like tough as nails, she wasn't like this. Oh, you don't think people deserve schools and good, you know, uh, and uh, fixed and cleaned roads? Because that's what taxes, at least in, you know, for what they're supposed to go to. So what a weird commentary on taxes. But they, they arrest this guy. She's like, okay. I guess you are a good guy and you're trying to help. So I'm going to like, um, I'm going to trust you. So he's like, okay, so long. he's going to uncuff him. She looks down at his gigantic, supple man ass. <laughs> Just what is the deal with the man ass in this? She has absolutely a complete flat butt. Why? I'm not saying she has to have these, these cakes going on, but my goodness, why is it okay for the men to have these like unbelievable freaking booties? But she's like, that's enough for her to trust him. So is she like attracted to him? But she doesn't, it's, it's so weird. So she's like, okay, I'm going to like deputize you basically. So she calls him an oaf, which she did in the original. But Lionel's so dumb. He makes this face. And then he thinks it stands for officially awesome friend. So he's like, yeah, I'm the biggest oaf you'll ever see. And she's like, yeah, you got that right. And why does Lionel have bigger boobs than she does? But she's like, you're the only person here. You're going to help me capture him because you helped him release them. But look, his heart's like, she looks at him with like her, uh, I guess, thermal vision. And his heart's all glowing. So is he like attracted to her? It doesn't, it almost comes off as like he's, I don't know. She, He thinks she, she's just the coolest and wants to be her friend. Not that he actually like finds her like physically attractive. It's it's weird. So she gives him the official deputy oaf. Like she had this thing ready for him. And he's just titillated. He makes this face. Then, okay, hop on, let's go. And then and then she, like, puts on a classic, like, World War One German helmet, the one with the little spike on it. And it's, like, it says Dunce. It's, like, what what's the significance of that? So they take off, and they're going to go capture a bunch of these bad guys. And this is where it just goes into, like, full-on montage mode, where we don't get much of uh, anything. She's kicking butt and doing all these amazing things, and Lionel's just kind of standing around and, like, doing nothing, really. It's just, and then they added bad guys. Like I said, there was, uh, originally it was only three, and this one it's, like, seriously, like, eight or nine different dudes. And they, and there's no, um, not only, uh, there's, there's, there's no trouble for her. She, in the original, when they went to capture some of these guys, it, it was a actual fight. But, like, here, look at her not supple butt. Why didn't they give her a big old giant bubble butt, like, freaking Lino? But they capture one guy, they... There are some other dudes are harassing some bad guys and she just goes and just captures them. Like it's not even a fight. And she's just like handcuffing all these dudes. Then this is a callback to one of the original bad guys. He was like a, uh, everything he touched was, he can make into like poison and stuff. So he can poison rivers and, but there was more to it here. She just throws a, the, her boomerang at him and, and kind of stuns him. And then she hits him with her gun, which was in the original episode. It's funny, but he's like, what, what's this ray? And it was just soap and water because he's such a dirty, disgusting thing that the water like it beats him. They don't explain that here. He just gets all shiny and clean. You're like, what the heck? And she she cuffs him onto the next guy. She's fighting this dude. And then Lionel's just there to throw her weapons. And weapon breaks. Lionel throws another weapon. Weapon breaks. And then we have, and she's doing all the butt kicking and everything. And shocks the guy and handcuffs him. And Lionel's just there dancing around and being um, a complete idiot fool. It's, in the original, he he helped. He, he actually captured one of the guys kind of by, like, he tracked him down by himself. So, why why couldn't it be where they, Lionel actually proves himself as a warrior, not just, like, as this dancing oaf? I mean, look at the thing. Look, this is what he looks like when she's doing all the good work. And here we go again. Uh, booty clapping. 
<laughs> my goodness. The the people on the show, they, they got a thing for man ass. It's unprecedented amounts of man ass. This big tank guy, which was in the original, he has like these big old treads or whatever. And I guess Lionel just gets caught up in his treads and that's how he beats him. Like his whole body gets like ripped apart. <laughs> Look, Lionel's dead. Isn't that wonderful? But, you know, I guess that's one guy he helped catch, but just sacrificing his body. So they're down to one last person, and that's that uh, lava, that lava person, which wasn't in the in the original show. And she's like, "I'm gonna go capture, her, go get him or her. I guess it was a girl." And she's like, "You you done a pretty good job." So she just kind of commends him for that. And then the guy's like, "You idiot!" <laughs> One of the prisoners like, "She's calling you an oaf. Do you even know what that means?" And he doesn't know what that means. So yeah, Snarf, and he pulls out a speaking spell, and it's saying you're just a, 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 an idiot, a, a lumbering moron. So he goes over to her and he's like, hey, so we're going after that one last person, right? And she's like, yes, she's going to try to find a volcano and that's like activates her power or whatever. And he's like, oh, so if I capture this person, you wouldn't think I was an oaf anymore, right? She's like, yeah, I guess, but you know, we're, we're going to both get her. But Lionel just steals her bike and he's going to go do it by himself because he's going to prove himself. He flies there, runs into the uh, little lava girl thing, I guess. <sighs> they see her, like dead to rights. He sees her and she like pretends to be a regular rock. And then you're like, where did she go? But he, he saw her just sit there. Like, she didn't go behind something and hide. She just did it right in front of him. But Lionel's an idiot. So I was like, where did she go? Well, she, she has to be here. She jumps into the lava, becomes a big old giant, you know, lava monster thing. We have um, the fight here. It didn't have to be uh, silly here because in the original, he didn't have his sword because that guy pickpocketed him. So here he's slicing and dicing and doing his thing. Um, it looks okay. And he starts doing the thunder, thunder thing to make his sword bigger. But it gets like stupid, silly, gigantic. You ain't, you're not guts. This ain't the freaking demon slayer. That you're not cloud. This isn't the the Buster sword. So it's just this gigantic, stupid sword, and he's slicing away at this thing. I mean, look at this. What is this? So he keeps kind of cutting off the arms and everything, but he's not really doing any real damage. And she's like, "I told you, you weren't, you, weren't, you couldn't fight this thing on your own." And he's like, "I'm not just any oaf. I'm the Lord of the Thundercats, ruler of all Thunder." And she's like, "Oh my God, you're a king." He gets eaten by the freaking, um, by the lava monster. This is nice, but it's just weird at the same time. It's like, oh, wow, what a brave, you know, fool. And apparently he was a king. I, he sacrificed himself. And she's like, I would be upset, but I can't be upset on duty. So she clocks out, cries a tear, then clocks back in. Okay. So she's going to take on the lava monster, but I guess uh, Lino, with the combination of the shield uh, claw, does like a tornado thing and bursts out of the... The lava monster and grabbed her. Grabbed the little guy. I guess she was still inside of it. I didn't even know that was, that's what happened. I literally thought she transformed into this thing. But I guess she was like in there and that was like an outer skin. They capture her and he's like, oh, well, you did a pretty good job. Throw, throws her in jail. And, you know, she's like, if I need, uh, you, you've you upgraded from uh, Deputy Oaf to like Officer Oaf. Like, does she still have to talk down to him so much? He did it. He did help. He did do something good, but you still have to put him down. Then she's like, you know, if uh, you'd make a pretty good officer, and if I ever need uh, uh, someone to help me out, I know who to call. I'm like, oh, that was nice, but they can't end it with something nice because she starts to walk up to him, and she's like, oh wow, you're gonna you're gonna hug me? And nope, she's cuffing him because she he stole her bike, and he's gonna go to jail for that. And uh, here's his mugshot. Why couldn't it just be nice? Why couldn't he just have done a good thing? And she they found mutual respect for each other. Why did it have to be like this? I don't know. But uh, here's a picture of the, ri the original uh, uh, one. Man, woo, that girl is fine as hell. This episode, it, every time they could have just been, it could have just been nice. It could have just been good. No, they decided just to, you know, since Lionel's a man, he had to still get arrested. And um, I don't know, best episode so far. But again, that's not saying much. And Lionel's only 4'2". No, what is he, 5'2"? Barely? No, he's less than that. He's only 5 foot. My goodness. Oh, man. But, uh, yeah, uh, we got two more of these things. Um, uh, Mandora was a cool character. She she made it in multiple episodes, and she had a really cool design. I've always liked helmets. <laughs> but, um, yeah, two more to go, and um, hopefully we'll be done sooner than later. Crimson Saint here. Thanks for watching the video. If you're enjoying the content, be sure to sub, like, share, and hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss a single upload. If you have any tips or story ideas, hit us up on Twitter at C15Podcast, or better yet, join our Discord server. Link in the description below.